and welcome to our second episode of Virtual Storytime with Hilary and Bear. Good boy. So today we are going to read some picture books and the theme is Mistaken Identity. Mistaken Identity is when you think you're one thing but you're actually the other. So for example, we have a dog here whose name is Bear. What if he was a bear named Dog? Do you think that's confusing? Do you think he's confused about who he is? Hey bear, are you a bear or a dog? <gasps> See? Good boy. So that is mistaken identity. So today we're gonna start with the same welcome song that we did last time. We're gonna go into our first picture book. Then we have a craft for you. Then we're gonna go into a second picture book with a rhyme at the end. And then we're gonna finish off with our goodbye song. Hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Hello oh, everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes, touch your toes. Hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Hello everybody, can you gather round? Gather round, gather round. Hello everybody, can you gather round? Gather round. Great job, let's get settled in now for our first picture book. So let's get started with our first picture book. It's called Itty Bitty Kitty Corn by Shannon Hale. What do you think it is about? Remember, our theme is mistaken identity. What two animals do we see on the cover? Let's find out. So it's Itty Bitty Kitty Corn. Written by Shannon Hale and published by Abram Books for Young Readers. Let's see. Kitty thinks she might be a unicorn. A horn sits atop her fuzzy head, pointing up, up, up to the sky. She feels so perfectly unicorny. Look at me, says Kitty. <gasps> Look at that kitty. You're not a unicorn, putty pie, says Parakeet. You're curled up like a cat. Fluffy fry, says Gecko. <gasps> See your friends down there? Hmm. They say you're not a unicorn, but she thinks she is. Kitty stands tall. She prances on her pod clawed unicorn hooves. She gallops on her Incy weensy unicorn legs. Look at me, says Kitty. Do you think Kitty's a unicorn? What is she? What does Kitty Corn think? You're still not a unicorn, Fuzzy Honey, says Parakeet. You have a stubby tail. Teeny tiny, says Gecko. You see, Kitty put on a unicorn horn, but they still say, no, nope, you're not one. Kitty closes her eyes. She concentrates and poof, her tail puffs up fat. Look at me, says Kitty. Does Kitty look more like a unicorn now? Let's see. You're never going to be a unicorn, funny foo, says Parakeet. You meow in your sleep, Miffy Mew, says Gecko. Mm, they still don't think it so. How is she gonna convince them? Nay, says Kitty. Nay, nay.
She sticks her pink nose in their ears in case they didn't hear. Nay, you're a cat, says Parakeet. And that is that. They're still not convinced. Hmm, what is Kitty going to do? Still, Kitty's unicorn heart beats harder. She lifts her front hoof and sweeps her magnificent tail. The sun is low, the shadows are long. At last, she looks exactly how she feels. <gasps> ha ha, look at me now, yells Kitty. <gasps> she thinks she can see the unicorn in her shadow. Wow, says Parakeet, astonished. Whoa, says Gecko. Finally, they see me, thinks Kitty. Do you see the shadow? Oh, she looks like a unicorn. How could that be? Until, clomp, clomp, clomp. Look at those unicorn hooves. Who's that? Gecko points with his fat tipped finger. Now that's a unicorn. <gasps> Who's coming around the corner? The unicorn brandishes his horn. He sweeps his magnificent tail. Wow, look at his horn. The mane and the tail. He neighs a mighty neigh. Suddenly, Kitty feels no bigger than a ball of lint. Aw, poor Kitty. Flop, flop, flop. See unicorn looks and poor Kitty took off her horn. She doesn't think she's a unicorn. But part of me says unicorn. Yes, squeak, squeaks Kitty. I so admire your fuzzy ears and silver whiskers, says Unicorn. You do, says Kitty? That's nice of Unicorn. And I wondered, Unicorn looks right and then left. Did you know? What, says Kitty? Did you know, says Unicorn, whispering now? What, yells Kitty. <gasps> What's Unicorn gonna say? Did you know, says Unicorn, that I am a kitty corn? <gasps> kitty gasps. Her tiny tail twitches with joy. <gasps> Do you see the unicorn? The unicorn put on kitty ears. Yes, says Kitty. I see that now. You are a kitty corn. You are a fuzzy, furry, adorable kitty corn. Unicorn nods. I knew that another kitty corn like you would see. Kitty and Unicorn are both kitty corns. Kitty trots on her soft teeny paws and Unicorn pads on his huge golden hooves. They both like to toss their manes and brandish their horns. <gasps> Look at their nice horns. They both like to scamper after bumblebees and stretch out on a patch of grass. They're so similar. And when the sun is low, their shadows merge till you can no longer tell one from the other. See them up? And that's their shadow. The end. Wasn't that a good story about a mistaken identity? So a kitty that thought she was a unicorn, but then we met a unicorn that also thought they were a kitty. So they were both kitty corns. Good story. Now stay tuned for a fun unicorn craft. Today we're going to learn how to make a unicorn horn. For this craft, all you need is some paper, a ruler, scissors, elastic or string, tape or glue, 
and whatever craft supplies you have around to decorate. Step one, take a piece of paper and draw a triangle with a rounded bottom. You can use the ruler to help you draw your straight lines. Step two, cut out the triangle. Step three, roll the triangle up tightly to make it into a cone. Use tape or glue to fasten together. Decorate your horn however you like. You can use markers, crayons, stickers, jewels, whatever you happen to have lying around your house. Use tape or glue to fasten the elastic or string to the opening of the cone. If you have string, make sure to cut it in half so that you can tie the unicorn horn around your head. If it's elastic, you can keep it one length to wrap it around. Our next book is called I Am Tiger by Carl Newson and illustrated by Ross Collins. And it was published by Scholastics Press. I think Bear's tired, so he's gonna lie down for this one. I am a tiger. Does that look like a tiger? You're not a tiger. A tiger is much bigger than you are. And it has a bit more grrrr. What do you think? Does that what a tiger looks like? Tigers can be small too. Grrr. Not that small. And a tiger has stripes. Some do. This one doesn't. So there, I am a tiger. Just because he says he's a tiger, does that make him a tiger? A tiger can climb a tree. Can you? That's a good question. I could climb a tree. I could climb to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can. I am a tiger. Mm, he seems pretty convinced. Go on then, climb to the moon. I can't just know. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for his lunch. Grrr, I am a tiger. Bear, what do you think? Do you think it's a tiger? Or a mouse? Are you a dog? Or a bear? <gasps> we just don't know anymore. Very convincing. No, you're not a, a, a chew. I'm not an achu. I am a tiger. See what they did there? Held up a flower or a dandelion and made them sneeze. Oh, bless you. No, I am a tiger. Does this look like a tiger? Big stripes, big teeth. Looks like it could go grr. Let's see what they say. No, I am a tiger. Let's see what this little mouse has to say. Ha ha, you're not a tiger. You're a mouse. Did the mouse just tell the tiger that it was a mouse? Oh dear. 
Look at your tiny twitchy nose. Hmm. Look at your little hands and feet. I bet you had cheese for breakfast. I am a tiger. I can do this. Can you? Seem juggle. What about this? Hang from a tree? Oh dear, you sir are definitely a mouse. And I am a tiger. If I am a mouse, then what are they? So now this one has convinced the big tiger that the tiger is actually a mouse. But he wants to know if he's a tiger, what are these other animals? Well, how are they gonna explain that? Let's see. Furry, stripy, funny looking face. This is a caterpillar. Does it look like a caterpillar? Long, red, he likes to bounce. This is a balloon. Thin, thin, pointy, hanging in a tree. What could that be? This is a banana. Tiny, colorful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. Hmm, do we believe any of that? Now I really must be going. My lunch can't catch itself. What a silly old bunch. Well, the mouse is off and left all the other animals so confused. <gasps> ah! I'm not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth, those claws, that tail. It's obvious. What do you think? What's it gonna say now? I am a crocodile. What do you think? What animal is this? Yeah, it's a mouse. But it saw the reflection of a crocodile and now thinks it's a crocodile. Maybe it's confused. The end. Good job, I hope you like this story of I am a tiger. Now let's get started into our mess rhyme. Okay, so now we're going to do a fun little rhyme about a mouse to finish off that storybook about a mouse who thought they were a tiger. So this rhyme is called Hickory Dickory Dock. You might know this one. So we're gonna do hand gestures with it and let's get started. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock, Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, the mouse went woo! Hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three, the mouse went wee! Hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four, the mouse said no more. Hickory dickory dock, Good job, everyone. Thanks everybody for tuning in for another story time. We're gonna finish off with our goodbye song. Hey, do you remember how to sign goodbye and friends? So we're gonna use our sign language to sing our goodbye song again. So it goes, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good. Goodbye, everybody. Make sure to turn in next week for some more fun and picture books.